Previously on Rise of the Rune Lords. Deep within the underbelly of the Thistletop Goblin stronghold, our singed and bloody group of heroes take a moment to heal themselves and examine their loot. Still limping, they make their way down a spiraled staircase and through dusty stone hallways. In a stunning display of leadership, Tarnin uses the ever-eager Sanishi to spring a trap intended to turn adventurers into Julian Fries. The trap fails, however, and the group presses onward, only to find themselves surprised by none other than Nuolia herself, accompanied by two monstrous canines, incapable of disobeying her orders or disagreeing with her, bound to her will. Indeed, they were true yeth hounds. Despite a truly terrifying howl, both hounds received a truly epic newspaper slapping. Near death, Nuolia's tragic past flashed before the eyes of our heroes, a sad tale of bullying desperation, and fear. Unfazed by this revelation, Sanishi finishes the job, ending Nualia's reign of terror forever. Today, the adventure continues. switch the map over to the one you guys were at, and we can continue. Uh, that was it there. wasn't now. It was? It was? This one. I like how I left the cursor on the, uh, head. <laughs> now it's stuck there forever. To be fair, it won't, it's not there on the recording. That's, it's there in my heart. Weird. <laughs> okay. Alright, so, you have you just have killed... That? Lalia. Um, if ever has everybody uh, taken their inspiration card yet? No. And Bill, mm -hmm. since we tweaked, since we tweaked how we did it last time, if you want to keep that uh, the card you used at the end of last session, I do, but I don't recall its specifics, so I should probably just pick a new yeah, one. I should probably pick a new one because um, since my concussion, I really don't remember what I had oh. last time. You, it was like you had a card that gave you a natural twenty, so you, you just used it on a uh, investigation check out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. But yes, everybody just wants to take one, and you can, if you use it by the end of the session, you'll get a new one next time, and if you don't use it, and you want to keep it for the next one, then you can. Actually, oh, is that the new rule? I thought yeah, it was... that's the one I just changed, because okay. uh, previously, we had just, like, everybody would draw new ones at the end of it. Yes. But if you really like the one you have, and you're just waiting for the right time to use it, kind of unfair to snatch it from you. Okay, fair enough. Now he says, cool Since when have you been concerned about fair? Fair? Fair to me. That's Dude, he, he's barely tried to kill us at all. <laughs> Except for you. <laughs> yeah, I like, I've died like three times. That's fair. Well, you, you have, have not died. died. I did, like, mostly dead. Alright. Not even mostly dead. No, he's, he's pretty much No, I mean, he was mostly dead. I failed. literally <laughs> grabbed the soul out of the air and stuffed it right back into your body. Is that what you did? Sean yes, is fair and balanced. Fox, Sean. You shut your whore mouth. <laughs> wow. 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 Okay, so uh, combat is over, so we're not doing turns right now, so you guys are kind of... What do you want to do? I want to get bows and arrows from her. Give me a, an investigation check. Why don't you help him every time I try? It goes bad. Uh, yeah, I sh well, actually, you, I probably should have done the investigation check, but I don't know. If I'm looking for something specific, does that matter? I don't think. No, no, you can just do a general investigation check. So. General investigation check. And so you can either, either you can roll and somebody else can roll as well, or you yes. can roll with advantage if somebody wants to help yeah. you. Yeah, Lars, if you'd like to help, that'd be fantastic. Do you want me to roll or do you want to re-roll? No, just go ahead and roll. We'll take yours. I don't care what it comes up. We'll take yours. Wow. Uh, six. Uh, five if I got. You, you can roll with advantage. Huh? No, I, uh, I already no, rolled you, one. Oh, you both rolled? Okay. Yes, we both rolled. So what was the highest of 
You're six. The six, the one I said that we we're going to take no matter what he rolls. There's no plus to that since it's a general investigation? Or yeah, what's can't... your investigation modifier? Uh, yeah, but what's yours? Because you were helping and I only rolled one, so what's your... Yeah, you should have a oh, investigation wait, check. We can use mine, even though I'm just helping? You just rolled. You can either, either one person rolls with advantage or two people can roll separately. Yeah, I rolled oh. one, you rolled one. So and you guys two. rolled separately, so Lars, it's your six Beautiful. plus oh, good. investigation modifier. Okay. Which is a... Uh, plus seven. Oh, so Thirteen. Plus seven, so that's an eleven. Thir- yeah. No. Oh, Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. Um. So looking around, a couple things you do find. Uh, you find a long sword on Nualia. There doesn't seem to be. It's slightly tinted red, but otherwise it's your basic long sword. Um. She does have a sahedron necklace that you guys saw her wearing. That's still draped around her neck and wait, splattered wait, wait. with blood. When I searched her person, you said none of this stuff was on her. Well, I said we were going to redo it this time. Mother. <laughs> so the card I got rid of, which I don't remember, remember what it was anymore. All right, never mind. Yeah, carry well, on. That's why carry I thought on. I was going to let you keep it. Carry on. This is, this oh, is yeah. actually specifically why I said I was going to let you keep it. Okay, so then we rolled a 24. Because a, all I remember is a card is on your next check, wherever. It's a automatic 20. And then it goes away, and I can add my whatever to it. It's as if I rolled a twenty. Okay. Wait, you're over there. It's as if then in that case, the uh, you find the Sager necklace, and um, laying on the ground in the corner, you find what, what she you shot Icky with, which is actually a oh, small hand asking. crossbow. Wait, what'd you say? You find you find a small hand crossbow in the corner. Yeah, and no one else sees it, right? The thing that with ten bolts. Uh, no, Lars is the one who looked, so okay, he saw. Right. Chuck. But I'll very discreetly tell you about it. <laughs> so, and um, you also, uh, hold on, on Sean, the table. I just want to understand this for the sake of clarity on what's going on in my mind here. I rolled a natural one. He rolled a six. Then you said I was allowed to use my card from last time so that we could redo it. Is that, oh, we're using it on you or on Lars? I'm on sorry. me. Cause I, I misunderstood. Not okay. a problem. And yes, you're finding these things. Just wanted to be sure how the narration was going in my head. Ah. Fabulous. So I found a beautiful necklace. I handed it off to Lars to identify. I found a long sword that's slightly tinged red. I handed it off to Lars to identify. I find a uh, hand crossbow. A bolts. hand crossbow and ten bolts, which seems to disappear into my cloak somewhere. Uh, give me a sleight of hand check. Thank you. If you're gonna make I it love you. Here. I, you, you know didn't what? expect that. You're a gift from Tammy. Remember? We've done this before. Everybody's standing around, so give me a sleight of hand check. Nine plus eight is what? Seventeen. I rolled a seventeen. Modified. Seventeen. That's. I don't think anybody else has a. Pa- I don't think anybody has a passive perception that high, do they? I thought Probably Lars not. was pretty dang high on that. My passive Lars, perception Lars, is. Lars's passive oh. perception is exactly seventeen. But uh, the fact I that I am actively does. investigating and looking around during this does that. I matter? handed him that necklace. Maybe he's already engaged with that. <laughs> Maybe. It's a possibility. Could be. Well, actually, Lars, that make no, what you said makes sense. Since you actually rolled an investigation check, we would go with that one, which was a thirteen. I mean, <coughs> nice. So yes, yeah, crossbow and ten bolts vanish. I mean, um, there's a Hedron necklace. Then there is a table that she was standing by. Um, on the table, you do find uh, scattered in a couple of different piles, uh, thirty gold pieces. Uh. Sanishi, <laughs> give me this up appropriately. This math is going to take her the rest of the game. <laughs> oh, God. Nate, do you still have access to Sanishi's? I, I was actually I was waiting for a moment to ask you to send me a link to her again because the link that is in our chat is not loading properly. But let me, I'll shoot it to you really quick. Thank you. And then I will continue. So, oh, God. <laughs> Stop making Sanishi. Fine, okay. <laughs> like, um, uh, would you distribute no. this? <laughs> uh, Alright, I just shot at you. She hits the three on, uh, pieces Facebook with her sword. And... Four went that way, three went that way. Clearly those are your three. Those are your four. Alright, <laughs> then mine. also, while you're looking at the table, um, you see just uh, papers strewn about that have just tons of stuff written on them. Um, looking through them, you can see... Uh, Papers that basically outline 
Nualia's plan to send uh, goblins against Sandpoint and yeah. burn the town to the ground. Um, it mentions things about uh, about the town being a burnt offering to Lamashtu in hopes of that the mother of demons would finish Nualia's transformation into a fiend and that all of the dead souls will fuel something called a ruin well below Sandpoint. Sounds good. Yeah, I guess we get more big into it. Does, does it... And, uh... and it also mentions um, that this will allow uh, Sin Spawn to manifest. And... This is, this is all you, by the way. The books. The and it also... Uh, it, she... Yeah, she kind of goes off on a couple of trails, like trains of thought. And one mentions that uh, the ruin well shouldn't be used more than two times until the people of Sandpoint are put to death. Otherwise, it could go dark, and she's not sure if she can restart it. So you can grab a goblin just in case we want to make this go back to the wall. And that's about all you find. Um, she was shooting a... Last game, she was shooting a uh, short bow at us. With arrows. Mm, you never said specifically what. No, I just said that Nate was hit with something. Nobody actually saw her shoot anything. Yeah. No, no one, no one saw the weapon. Nobody saw where it came from. Just that it, or like just the direction it came from. And we were pretty sure it wasn't the dogs. Yeah. Fair enough. But was it an arrow and not a bolt? I thought it was, but it, it was a just that. That is a bad. It was a bolt. I remember it so clearly now. <laughs> so, so do we all get six gold? Is that what we're doing here? Well, that's the intention. This should actually come through for us. <laughs> I was giving well, her something to do, but we were scared so yeah, messing around so, with everything else. Sure, Sunishi will d- divvy the stuff. I don't know. I don't remember if she cares about money or not. <laughs> that's why I didn't give it to Icky. Yeah, he, for me, because then I would have taken it all. You wouldn't have taken any of it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Sunisha just divvies it up evenly. Six pieces. Yeah. Six pieces a piece. Six pieces a piece. Six pieces a piece. piece, piece. piece. So now, if things remain the same as they were... Did, God damn it, phone. If things remain the same as they were last session, I don't have access to change things on Sunisha's character sheet. You do not. Can you please add that for her? I can. Thank you, sir. You are a kind and benevolent DM for the time being. For the time being, until I try and kill everybody. And for now, I appreciate you. Until I rue your existence. <laughs> for now, I appreciate you. Oh, yeah, she should have it. Thank you. <clears throat> for now. All right. I this shit. There it is. Currency, gold, add six. Go go go. And the the gold that Icky found ended up multiplying randomly into like six million, right? In your head. That's all that counts. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. How many beers is this? More than enough. I don't know. It's Icky. Yeah, it keeps just about enough. Six gold? I'll trade you that for seven beers. <laughs> Done. Yeah. Done. Oh, I came out on top. I gave you six of something and got seven of something back. Yeah. Oh, dear God. Is there anything else in the room worth noting, looking for? I mean, like, for her to be in this room with some dogs, it kind of seems like, is there something about this room? It's also, like, at the... I'm just going to leave that there. Uh, in a strange location. <laughs> um, no, you weren't able to see anything in there other than, like, she, when you, when you, um, like, she, other than her notes strewn across the table, there doesn't really seem to be anything in so, here. So, in her notes, is there anything else about a planned attack or perhaps any directions to this uh, ruin well, was it? The only thing it mentions about the ruin well is just saying it's in the can of codes under sad point. Okay. And you do also notice, um, as Lars keeps pacing, uh, paging through them, you do notice something at the end. It's almost it. It seems to be written in uh, quicker handwriting mm-hmm. 
than the rest of the notes. And it mentions something about needing to free him and not, we still haven't found how to get to him, but he talks to me mm -hmm. and I need to set him free. Hmm. Um, based on anything that we know or that's in the notes, is there anything that points to the room well being that creepy water that we fought the closet at? Um, there's not, uh, nothing other than it says it's in catacombs and below Sandpoint. Okay. So there's really there's no I'm not like a map that's drawn on there or anything okay. like that. So we don't know for sure whether or not the thing we've already been at is a room well or not. Nothing in the notes would give you any more information. There weren't runes in that pool, just skulls, right? But were there runes on the skulls? Uh, we didn't look that good. Or inside the skulls. Oh. <laughs> go back and get them. <laughs> I'm going to go dive in the pool and find this shit, guys. Oh, God. Thanks, Nishi. That's, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I veto this endeavor. Mm. Okay, so. Okay. So, okay. Anybody else thinks Nishi should go first? Where is she going? Well, we're leaving, aren't we? Are we, are we just going to hang out here? We, aren't there more goblins to kill here, guys? We haven't killed a single goblin! No, we killed a couple of weird looking dogs that kind of smell like gob goblins, though. Those aren't goblins. Those were good, but not goblins. Well, ask guys some nicely if he wants to lead on, since he seems to perceive things slightly better than I do recently. Must be the concussion. That's true. Captain told me to ask you if you'll help us find goblins to kill. Uh, tell the captain that, yeah, it's probably time we moved on. <laughs> I heard that part. Hold on. <laughs> Thanks, Aww. Sir. Good job. Hey, you, you. What do you mean move on? You want to ex explore the rest of this mess? I want to not stand in this little room. No, not this room. I'm talking about where we started to go when we got ambushed from this room. Continue back down south. I, I think it's worth checking out. Because the only exit Drill. out of here is the way we came, right? Correct. Gotta be one door south and then heading west. How How's the team feeling? Like, you feeling good? You feeling tired? I'm feeling right. I don't think... I think right now, if I'm, this yeah. was our supposed main threat. And if she hasn't found whatever that other door was or how to release him... Then I say we check out what we got here. What can we bring back to help the town? What can we do to convince the goblins to stay away? Whatever. Let's learn more about what we got here. Unless, unless Geisen is very convinced that he's got enough information to uh, tell us where him is or what the next part of this. I do not. So, uh, I'm sorry. I'm and and goblins too. I'm, I'm going to compl interject completely out of character here, uh, Sean. Yes. Last session, we had talked about Icky being woefully low on hit points. Did we ever correct that? I believe we did. Is 29 not woefully low? Out of what? 29. Oh, that's right. Your max was wrong. 29. Yeah, because Icky's max is at 29. Is that? I remember, yeah, I remember we found out that you hadn't added the rolled hit dice to Right. It. Like and I me. don't know and if I'm, I did I'm either. I'm sorry, I was, just, I was just looking at that and I saw Sanishi's hit points and I was like, wow, that's like twice as much as I've got. What is Sanishi's? Like 48. Okay. So like 20 more than I've got, but... Sanishi is right, kind of beast. so yeah, yeah. with your... So I don't know, I, I'm, I'm, I was like, I'm, a, I'm a bird bone. You have... I've got hollow bones, fine. You know what? I don't know, I have, a, I have 13 you know what? You have a HP ability? added. So you would have started with eight because you have your hit dice is the one d eight. Uh huh. So you would have started with eight, and you guys are at level so four. So you would have rolled three d eight after that. Oh, no, I'm on top four. of. On top of the, the max possible okay. HP you have, you can have right now is forty eight. What? Okay. Wait, him. Me. Okay, I'm like. Yeah. I am it, significantly above that. If you would have rolled all eights, the max you would have is forty eight. So yeah. you're about nineteen less than that. I mean, that doesn't sound. That doesn't sound right. Because you have plus 16 from cons from your constitution bonus. Yeah, and that's like that's all of it right there. Minus so like. we started with 8. 
13. That would have been three rolls. It's like four a piece. Roll a 1d8. We'll just add it to it. Okay, thank you. Me too. I, I, the, the only thing I can think of is maybe we missed... Maybe one of the rolls didn't get re-added after your character got deleted. Yeah, there's the 8. So roll a 1d8, we'll add that to it, and we'll, whatever it ends up That's being. a 5. So your max is now 34. Thank you. That sounds much better. I, I feel a little less squishy now. But you're still at 17. Is what I have you at. Okay. 17 out of 34. We'll go with that. I had me at 28 out of 29. Oh, I'll change it. Now, that, I, I could be wrong. <laughs> that's, yeah. that, that's what D&D Beyond has me at. How does the big beefy bird monk have like barely more hit points than the little... It's all about what you roll when you roll. Oh. Okay, now I'm... If he only rolls a D8, but if he rolls a 2 or a 3 each time, he's not going to gain hit points super fast. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I, mean, I, not... I, I can go, like, we'll, we'll go with this for now. I'll go back and check the numbers from our conversations okay. and, like, after this, because yeah, I don't want to know. spend time on it now. All right. All right. Thank, thank you for the sidebar. Sorry for the uh, delay. Okay. Uh, and, and I guess before we get back into it, I was making sure that you hadn't, like, used all of your spell slots, for example, and you hadn't used all your key points. I still have some left. Okay. Key what? That's what I used to pu- do. Used to punch things more. Oh, yeah, you used one key point so far. Yep. yep, I've got three left. Yep. And guys, has got two sort of first level spells in two seconds. Key, 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 key. Oh. Key, key. Lovely. <laughs> so yes, let's explore further. So guys. Carefully watch yourself for us. All right, so I am. Uh, jumps out of what? Wait, but you have, or do we not care about being stealthy? Not so much. Just okay. Then I'll head south to the next intersection. And, and Sinishi will eagerly follow him, looking to kill goblins. All right, I'll just move guys in right now until you guys decide you want to split up. Okay. Right. Move the map a little. And then I'll go to the west. Isn't that where we came from? Is yeah, it? I don't want to go west. We want to go south. Yeah, there was the track that's a little... Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. We'll go south. South is south is going. And then go west from there. And then... Oh, yeah. That's All right. So, I don't know if you guys remember this room. A little bit. Um, the southern wing of the cell-shaped hallway uh, ends at a pair of stone doors carved with the de- depictions of two skeletons reaching out to clutch a skull between them. Well, to the east, the hallway narrows down to a frame to frame a circular carving of what seems to be an immense stack of tens of thousands of gold coins that rise from floor to ceiling. The edges of these coins are carved with tiny, spiky ruins. And when we investigated them, we got shot. Not by them, though. Not by them. No. No. You were, so you have two of you were looking at it, and then Icky got shot. Hmm? Can you pass me another inspiration oh, yeah. for Jill, please? Oh, yeah. Uh, so I guess I will continue to the west, so I can see the doors. So, okay. uh, do the doors have like an apparent handle or latch or something? There are. There, there is a, a knob on each of them. It's a set of double doors with the hinges on the outside, and each one has a notch in the middle. Uh, can I investigate the doors to make sure that they look okay? You absolutely can. Tra- trap worthy. <laughs> Is anyone going to assist him? Yes, would someone like to assist me investigating the doors? Sure. Sure. Or, 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 I really feel like this is a really strong assist. suit. 15 and 4, uh, 19. 20 okay. all together. Investigation, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 15 and 3. So, seven, uh, 18. Okay. Um, they look fine. That's, that's all I can tell, huh? That's with with twenty. Um, well, I mean, there are two skeletons holding. So, I mean, it, it's it's basically they're creepy looking here. And the skeleton, I mean, it's well <laughs> carved. It's a good thing. Yes, they're. I mean, they're they're large stone doors. The skeletons are intricately carved, and they are holding a skull between them. It looks creepy as fuck, but you don't notice anything 
off about the door other than that. Okay. Uh, well, I'll try to... Oh, skull me eyes. <laughs> I, I'm not going to do that. I'm going <laughs> to just try to open uh, the rightmost door, I guess. Okay. It opens... Swings open very easily. And... And it's a person. <laughs> it is a person. Oh dear, he's well endowed. So, <laughs> started it. So you see a statue, a statue of Edgar the Hung. That you've heard about in legend. He is a half Goliath. Can't be true. No way. No. Um, Four pillars support the dome ceiling of this room. Several dark alcoves containing standing sarcophagi grace the walls. And a statue of a stern man wielding a glaive and holding a book stands in the southern southern part of the chamber. Is the thing hmm. directly south a uh, column? The round the, thing? That's, uh, that's the statue. <laughs> oh, okay. Stop it, Oh, Hector, oh, Hector the Hump. <laughs> Can we move into the room so it looks less like a person's face? <laughs> <laughs> Can't we not? <laughs> it's kind of cool. But yeah. Uh, 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 clearly he's a Hungarian. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, man. Yeah. Remember how I asked you to leave earlier? Yeah? <laughs> you can come back. Oh, now. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There were traps earlier, should we? Yeah, I was just... Yeah, oh, God, yeah. Just thinking that. Uh, I'd like to investigate for traps. Do you want to do it twice, or should I help you? I, well, I, I, either way, I need someone to help me. Okay, I will help. Um, whether I roll or you roll. Well, you're going to roll one, I'll roll one. It's up to you. All right, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. So, are you checking around the room for traps? Yes. All right, to, to go back before and kind of redo that. If you're investigating, that means you're literally, like, touching stuff and running your hands around stuff. So okay. you'd want to do a perception check. Oh, okay. Who is, what I should have had you do on the door. Who That's has my better perception than I? Because investigation is literally like you're running around, like touching stuff, seeing if there's traps, like moving things. So if I'm just looking at stuff, I'm not bad. But if I'm touching yeah. it and getting like, yeah. it, I'm terrible. I'm yeah. negative yeah. one to investigation. Yeah. I've got negative one for investigation, and you get Two. Apparently perception. You I only get have plus one for perception. When you get your hands on stuff. I'm really well, good at seeing everybody stuff. Everybody gets if I distracted on Hector the Well Hung. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Hector. That's totally canon now. So it sounds like Tammy should probably take the lead on the percepting. Well, I think you had a three, didn't you? I had I had three. Who else can handle that? I will perceive. Uh, I will perceive well. I'm tempted to not roll that. If someone's anyway. helping you, you can roll with advantage. Yours is better, but mine's still not bad. Okay. I rolled a natural 20, so it's a modified 23. 23? It's the one time it's ever going to happen. Um, as you slowly walk around the room looking at the sarcophagi and sure. the uh, the entertaining statue, um, you don't notice anything that would lead you to believe that there are traps on any of it. It seems more ceremonial. Okay. No traps. And the, there, no traps, is, is, is there the normal amount of dust on the weapons? Because that was a clue last time. Yes, it was. Hmm. Well, the only weapon would be the glaive that the statue is holding. Uh huh. And you don't okay. notice. It, it has the same amount of dust as the rest of the statue. All right. Which we all know leads to the locked room. You do notice um, with that roll, I mean, you do notice footprints on the ground similar to what you had in uh, the previous room before you met Nivalia. Um, you can tell that uh, there's footprints in the in the dust leading up to each of the sarcophagi and walking around the statue, but it looks like those footprints are not within the last couple of weeks. Okay. Can we refer to the statue as the sarcophagi? No, the sarcophagi are on the wall. I know, but I want to... Wait, who's the sarcophagi? I'm the sarcophagi. Werewolves? Yeah, <laughs> I love that movie. <laughs> oh, so moving on. Alright, so it doesn't... It, it, there's no traps or anything. Does anyone mm. want to check for 
money or anything other than that. Well, her percepting, would she have seen money or other things, or would she have only seen traps? No, she would have noticed anything oh, else okay. laying on the ground out in the open. Okay. So... We could open the sarcophagi. Mm. Well, should we check out the statue specifically, and then the, the sarcophagi before we check out the sarcophagi? Well, because the statue. Yeah, is... got it. Go ahead. <laughs> check it out. We should really make this about sarcoph- sarcophagus. <laughs> <laughs> Since when do you know his name? The Hungarian. <laughs> Hungarian. Bring it. So I, I head down Bring closer to the statue. Which may or not may or may not be called sarcophagi. <laughs> give oh yeah. So as you look at the statue, um, give me a history check. Ooh. Wait, do I have that? Okay, no. I do. I don't think you're supposed so, to roll before someone can help you. Oops. No. Oh. It's all good. Too late. All right. Well, thirteen. Thirteen. All right. I will let. Hey, it's been a while since we played. Somebody else can roll, or you can... Pick your assistant. Yeah. I've got negative one. All right, who would, who would who would make sense to help him? This is something... On history? Probably. Like if you're going to help, it needs to make sense that you're going to help him. So, so like, Sinishi would not be a good person for no. For history. Grello knows about beer history. Well, I know I about rock history. I'm looking for the uh, stone cutting. When you make an intelligence history check related to the origin of stonework, you are considered proficient and can add double oh. your proficiency bonus to the check. Unfortunately, my proficiency bonus... Is negative one. Is negative one. So you get negative two. <laughs> oh, I know. My, profici- my proficiency <laughs> bonus proficiency is actually bonus two. two. Yes. Oh. So I could add four, subtract one, and still be useless. So I'm just going to not. <laughs> I will help. Tarnan... All right. So you can either... So you can either Tarnan can roll... Haston knows certain can histories... Can and you guys can... It as might you're be standing there looking at the roll, statue, since I have the seeing if seven. you remember anything it. about it. Oh. Oh yeah, much better for me to roll. Uh, twenty-six. Twenty-six. Oh. All right. So as you're um, as you're moving closer to the statue, and you can see that just like the the doors, it is intricately well carved. It is probably one of the most lifelike carvings you've ever seen with the facial, um, all the facial, the way the lines on the face is drawn. It's almost as you're looking a, at a, a person. Um, and as you look at the book he's holding, you see another Sahedron, seven-pointed star, the same one you saw on the, the medallion you took and then the book that you found floating and the book that was carved in stone down in the catacombs. And as you look at the face... Um, you're remembering something from your studies, and you get the you, something pops in your head, and you recognize this as uh, as the name Kurzog. Just like flashes in your memory, and you remember something about a very powerful wizard from like millennia ago, thousands of years ago. You remember hearing something that there were wizards who ruled the Thessalonian Empire, and you remember that Kurzog was one of them. And for whatever reason, looking at the statue is just, it's pinging that particular memory. And you're really glad that you rolled a 26, (laughs) because you would have needed a 24 to recognize that. Oh, wow. <laughs> and actually, I'm sorry, going back, um, the perception check, what was that total again? You started with 25. 23. 23? Okay, then as Geisen and um, Tarnan are standing and looking at the statue, Tarnan, you kind of turn your head to the west, and you notice that directly west of where you and Geisen are standing. To the west, to the west. What was that? Nothing. What was that? No. To the west, to the west. Everything I see is low to the west. Um, He's being a nerd. Go on. You you notice that there seems to be a section of stone directly west of you that where the grout would be between the stones is just a little off. It doesn't match the stonework around it. 
only we had a stone expert. Hey, Krona, would you be a sweetheart and go check out this other room? Look at the crowding around this stone here. Does that seem off to you? Does that seem off to me? <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> yes. It doesn't, like, yes. it, where, where there would be a straight line between two, you notice that it's just a little, a little off-center. It doesn't it's match up. To Sasha. <laughs> I would never hit a stone with my beautiful axe. I do, however, have this other weapon. I was thinking maybe push on it first, but I mean, it looks like a well-crafted stone door, perhaps. If you want to use the other axe, <laughs> go right ahead. I'm thinking maybe, you know, our turn is just going to lean up sort against of it and push on it some. <laughs> Does it? So what was that? I'm sorry. Tarn's gonna go and push on it some and see if he can feel around and find some kind of a release. All right, um, Tarn puts his hands on it, pushes in, and as soon as you push in, you feel the the entire like five five foot by ten foot tall section of wall depress about six inches. And then you take your hands off, and yeah, you hear it go, Doof! and then it just starts sliding to the side, and it reveals a passage. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. That was so well timed. God, you're good. Uh, all right. Well, we're gonna. We should probably head back to town. Yeah, forget about <laughs> this. <laughs> it's not intriguing or anything. I really anything. wanted the Zelda like door like, reveal yeah. noise. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Such intrigue. <laughs> you need um, a soundboard for next session, Tom. Um. Yeah. I really do. <laughs> Should we Ooh, head in and check it out? Yeah, so check it out. Who wants is, to go first? Is there a breeze coming from the hallway? That would that would have been great as we like go into the room as like a little hint. Like, why is oh. there a breeze in here? Why is there a draft? It's a bit drafty. Well, that is the only spot in the room that didn't have a statue. They must have been here on purpose. I'm going to go forward unless anyone else wants to beat me to it. Okay, I go forward. I go with him. Okay. Sure I continue There's to follow a, cautiously a, a because I'm the only one in the party who have dark vision. What was that? Oh, that's <laughs> right. You are. Do I need to be redone? Nope, I'm good. There you go. All right. Light. Ah! <laughs> Blinded by light. So as you walk down the hallway, you notice that it branches off into two separate hallways. Both lead to a section of stairs that goes up about six or seven feet. And this first one, at the end of the stairs, there's a landing and then a door. Can you? Yeah, I saw that ping. All right, yeah. can let, hold on a second. I think I need to tweak that just tweak. a little bit. Can you see the door at the end? Yes. Yeah. On your guys' map. All right. So yeah, there's a door at the end, and then the other hallway. It goes up. Hits a corner okay. and goes west. So and then runs directly into the eye of Odin. Oh, shit, let's go. With 16 titties. Spoilers. So, yeah. who brought the LSA? <laughs> um, it's with my mixtape. So, should we, should we head up there since there isn't a door blocking us yet? Why don't Sanishi. we split the party? No, no, no. Sanishi, <laughs> which one smells more like orc? Or goblins? Sorry. Freudian. Can, can, what, what kind of role does Sanishi That would take? be a perception check. All right. Sanishi is going to percept. I'm also going to gonna find if I'm there curious. is any goblin scent for coming from more strongly from one direction than the other. She rolls a nine. Grelda can't even smell herself at this point. Oh. That was a one. That was a one. That was a one. Sorry, I you have a cold. I tried to smell with my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Sanishi ultimately rolls a ten. A ten. A ten. Uh, you, you don't smell any goblin or orc, but you do get a strange hint of seawater. Mm. From, from which one? Both. From both. I don't smell anything worth killing. Oh, well, in that case, <sighs> let's go to the door first. I agree. All right. What order are we going to the door? Does it matter? It doesn't really matter. That doesn't... Uh, yeah, that was the door. That's the door. Super gooey. That was the door. I perceive Dude. for traps. All right. Is it, it's perceive, yeah? 
Perception, yeah. Okay. Unless you're gonna, like I said, unless you're gonna like use your hands to dig around the door. And in which case, that's uh, investigation. <laughs> I will perceive for traps. I rolled an eighteen. What was your favorite? Good job. I'm sorry, I rolled an eighteen, so it's a modified uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah. Um, it seems like a solid stone door, and you do notice a handle, but nothing about it gives you an idea that it'd be trapped. I check gently to see if it is locked. It gently turns very easily. I very easily open it. And I move out of the way and usher Sinishi in. <laughs> All right. Oh, um, the sound of sloshing water fills this room, which is almost entirely collapsed into a large tide pool. Uh, what few walls do remain intact here bear detailed and impressive carvings of incredible treasures. Uh, in treasuries filled to overflowing with coins, gems, jewelries, and other items of value. To the east, the walls depict a carving of a towering mountain, its peaked carved in the shape of a stern face just above a great palace. Below the side of the mountain's valley cradles an immense city of spires. Did you say it had actual gems or just carvings of gems? Carving, it's just carvings of treasuries. So can I do like a history check or whatever like i'm pretty book smart so can i see if i recognize the mountains or the city or anything you absolutely can would you like assistance with i that? would like some assistance i will assist you want to roll twice i give him advantage because i talk about this reminds me of that time when, uh somebody was trying to Ooh. fence i mean uh, um 21 that roll can drink damn yeah it can all right so, as you look at this, you're kind of, like, you're thinking about the statue that you saw, and you remember, it, whatever book it was, or whatever lesson it was that you remembered hearing about this, uh, like, this mighty wizard, Kurzog of the Thessalonian Empire, you also remember hearing a rumor of a legendary city somewhere in the Kodar Mountains, called Zin Shalast. Um, you remember tales talk of the city having streets of gold and buildings mm -hmm. carved from immense gems. But you also know that it's like the lost city of gold, kind of, where El Dorado, where you know, you know that people have sought it and vanished doing so, but nobody's ever actually actually managed to locate this fabled city. So nobody knows whether it's just a, well, you ne you didn't know from your teachings whether it was just a rumor or it was something that actually had existed at one time. And what was the connection with the Kurzog guy? Um, you remember that um, the legendary city of Zinjblast was rumored to have been one of the seats of power in the Thessalonian Empire, specifically Kurzog's seat of power. Lars, hmm? seriously, the rolls? What? You got a 21? Uh -huh. You needed a 21. Damn. Wow. <laughs> That's why I'm like, you got a 26, you needed a 24. For this one, you well, needed a Well, it's a good thing I had help again, because my first roll was a 5. <laughs> <laughs> does, does this appear to be just seawater? Yes. It, it's not like, you know, hate-inducing fluid. It, it, she drinks gallons of it to find it, out. From what you can see looking into it, it just looks like um, <laughs> trapped seawater. Trap? Oh, not like. <laughs> yeah. Not like freshly flowing out. Hey, that was my first thought, too. Like, the seawater seems awfully full of traps. I can spring them. Watch this. Splash, splash, The seawater is in We can spring them. Sneeshy, jump in there. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but you do notice as you're looking at the water, it is moving. It is what? Not in moving. A, it's there's sloshing. Like you can notice uh, a slight, not the same like bubbling that you'd seen before, but what you would expect from normal waves of the sea. So potentially a way out in case of fire. Does how how deep is this water? 
Can, um, do, I, do I need to? You can't. I mean, you look into it and you can't really tell how deep it is from looking at the top. It starts at a gentle slope and then it just you see a dark blue after about ten feet. Okay. So you're not able to tell how deep it is after that. I think Sunny so should go check and see how deep it is. Um. Hold on. I could use a. Is there a small pebble on the ground somewhere? Yeah. Cool. I cast light on it. I throw it in the water. Cast what? I'm sorry. I cast light on it and I throw it in the water. Cast? Did he say? I I I I (laughs) sons of bitches! I miraculously turn it into a glowing ball and flick it into the pool. Look, guys, there was always there was a naturally glowing stone just lying there. It's always been glowing since we walked in. It had like naturally luminous moss on it. All I had to do was you know rub it a little bit and throw it in. Friction and oh, I see what you did. Covered this with bioluminescent algae. So as you throw it into the water, it goes about about 20, 25 feet from you, hits the top, and sinks. And it does give a light, and you can see that it's probably about 15 feet deep. But you do notice there are... It casts some shadows. Like, there's there, there are things that like block part of the light at different angles. Is there an outlet, and do we have a toaster? <laughs> no, but you have a hairdryer. Uh-huh. Are the shadow casty things moving? Apparently, like living. Yeah. Um, you notice them moving in time, or no? Actually, you don't notice them moving. The shadows ripple a little as the waves move, but you don't notice them themselves moving. Okay. Sanishi, now if you really want to, if you really insist, you can jump in and at least see what you're going for. See what those things are. Those, I mean, what if do the ripply things look like they could be goblins? What if they're holding still goblins? Do I need to roll for this? No. Sanishi is not that dumb. She's she not. would know that they don't look like that. I'm not stupid, but you're curious. Kind of. Curiously stupid. She's excitable. She's not, like, mentally handicapped. <laughs> what if it's a weapon? Well, if it's a good weapon, I get it. Well, yeah, but you gotta go find out first. Alright, I'm gonna find out. Okay, we'll find out. Weapons are good. Do you go in? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. If it's a goblin, a I'm going to cut it. If it's a weapon, I'm going to use it to cut a goblin. As, as soon as Sinishi starts going into the water, I lean over toward, I walk and lean over towards Grella and says, would you be ready to back her up just in case? Grella has already, like, <laughs> put her bags on the floor okay. and is, like, ready <laughs> right. to, like, just in case. All right. Somebody, one of you two... Give me an investigation check okay. with advantage, or each of you give me an investigation check. What is Sanisha? Wait, wait, are we like who are you referring to when you Sinishi. say Sinishi. the two people are going into the water? Okay, so Sanishi is going. Sanishi and Grelda. Grelda is assisting Sanishi. Let's All right. Just go. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna roll two different ones. Yes. So so here's here's this one. That's a fourteen. That's mm. a beauteous. And that one's a thirteen. Hey, shiny. All right. So uh, percepting, percepting, Sanishi. Uh, investigation, because you're. Oh. Sanishi, Sanishi you know. investigating. I'm sorry. Give me a second to get your fake character sheet. Uh, I'm, working, I'm working on it. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. That's investigation the plus zero. Damn. Hey, that's not 14. <laughs> 14. Uh, not negative. Yep. Very much. Also, like, literally, it's been days since we've bathed and we've had a lot of, like, encounters. So this water is no longer pristine. <laughs> no. Hmm. Maybe Still, I so so as, as you go into the water, you do notice it is like it is definitely seawater. It has the salt and the brine that you would expect from the water that's been out in the in the sea okay. around Sandpoint. Okay. Um, it takes you you search around for about fourteen minutes, so it does take a little while for you to because every time Sanishi dives under, she sees something and like yells at it. And then loses all her oxygen, so has to come back oh, up. Come on, so you she just got done saying she wasn't recording. She has to keep going up and down. But um, you, she does manage to find a few things. Um, she manages um, to find a ripped like leather satchel that has just been destroyed by the seawater over time. Like you can, She can tell that's what it was. Um, and like scattered around it, she actually finds a ton of money and jewels she finds 175 gold pieces good lord uh 75 silver pieces 
and 12 precious stones, 6 rubies, and 6 diamonds. Uh, they're smaller, but they're still, like, you can tell these are, these are, like, well cut, and even in the seawater for such a long time, they still seem very bright and vibrant. And at the last thing that Tanishi does see is it takes up about, it takes you a little, takes her a little while to find it, but the light of the, uh, the pebble that was thrown in finally reflects off of something that takes up the majority of the bottom of this. And after looking around and putting her hands on it, she notices that a giant gold helmet, easily 15 feet by 15 feet and it is buried at the bottom of this pool helmet uh helmet yes turn in his bathing while this is happening and in while she's house. down there looking at the helmet she also noticed on the west side directly um, side? west of where the entrance to this pool was there is a section of the wall that is broken away and you can see that it leads right out into the into the bay, so it's a direct tunnel out, and that's where the that's where the water comes in. That's why the water in here hasn't become stale. Hmm. Hey, Captain! I found a lot of shiny shit down there. Awesome! Good job bringing it all up. No goblins, though. It's <laughs> bullshit. Okay, I'll help bring it up. Grelda also assists. Although she does, and I, I almost regret this, and I apologize in advance, but Grelda does turn and say, "You found treasure in the ocean. That makes you a pirate." <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I really hope Sunishi loses an eye sometime soon. <laughs> so does she. Uh-huh. Or a leg? No. no. Why not both? Oh, she's oh. got a parrot. Oh God. So, uh, oh, let's, no, let's find change her Alabander into a parrot and give her a peg leg. <laughs> and she's got to find her some good, like, she some, some scimitars to, to wield over her axes. Yeah, to wield scimitars? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what's uh, with the helmet? Any thoughts? Uh, it seems strange to me. <laughs> Thank you. Strangely out of place, perhaps, yes. Yeah, I'm not do you, lifting do it. Do you think the people who lived here were that big? Not they could just stick their head into this room then. That seemed like Yeah, no. Is there anything on the ceiling? We haven't looked up yet. <laughs> you don't notice anything. <laughs> you notice that uh there are sections of the ceiling which seem to have fallen away. Way. So it's not a smooth ceiling. Okay. But there's no like second floor or anything. No. Yeah. The, it isn't the, broken all the way through to the floor you just came from. It's not an open concept cave? <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> Does the helmet take up the entire pool? Like the entire uh, it's 15 by 15, so I'll put you there. It's It would be right around here. <gasps> Another door. Dun, 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 dun. 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 <laughs> Suspiciously close to where the other... Yeah. yeah. Um, huh. So huh. if I go in and look at it... Can I do a history check to see if the helmet rings any bells? You absolutely can. <laughs> you can find out that the helmet is actually a bell. Oh, it him. summons the undead armies of the sea. A oh, dark shit. helmet. Would someone like to help? I will help. Good. Not fucked, so that counts. Twenty three. Excellent. Twenty three. Um, you don't notice. You don't recollect anything particular about this helmet. Um, it does look like it was not made for a a being. It looks like it was made for some ornate purpose. It's more like a a statue for some statue or something along those lines. But the helmet itself doesn't really ring any bells to you. So you said it was like fifteen feet. Is that tall and the diameter, yeah. or... 15 by 15. Right about there. Like 12, 13 wide, a little taller than it is Just wide, but... Juggernaut. <laughs> We're not picking that up. <laughs> I don't think we can carry the helmet. So, looking around the helmet, most helmets have, like, a space, 
in them? They're not just like a big solid thing? Are there, is it just a big solid thing? Uh, most of it. There is a cut, like a, a T slit cut out of the front and it is indented, maybe about a foot, but it, uh, past that indent, it's solid. Okay, so no giant okay. man could wear this as a real helmet. But it's no, it was definitely not designed to be worn. Am I, am I right? It's made out of gold? Yeah. We're looking for a Mr. T base. Could be just look as though it's gold. Nobody's bitten it yet. We don't know. Does it seem to be real gold? As far as you guys can tell. Oh, I thought you were waiting for Sunishi to bite it. No, I wasn't going to go that far. And Tarnit, you'd have a pretty good idea of this. The uh, if if it was solid gold through and through, looking at the dimensions of it, it'd probably be worth seven eight hundred gold. That's it. Fifteen by fifteen is only worth seven hundred gold. That's somebody's got to melt it down and reprocess it, though. True. Uh, Sean, it is eight twenty six. You wanted an eight thirty pause. Yep, I have two minutes on my thing. But... Okay. okay. So basically, we'll finish this room, and then we'll take yeah. a pause. Okay. Does anyone feel that there's a reason for us to try to actually pull this out, or shall we just leave it? I don't Seems think like it's way, way too door. heavy. Yeah. Oh, and also, <laughs> yes. I think we could see if we could ruin any of our weapons, like, hacking pieces off of it. It depends on how pure the gold is, I guess. Hmm. Not really worth it. Well, I've got a weapon that I don't want. We can use it. Right, but we're still talking about having to haul back 15 feet worth of gold. Well, no, we can hack Well, yeah, if you just, like, hack off a chunk, you, like, you just, like, hang off enough to, like, you chose to put in a pocket. Sure, if you want to take the time, I, I can do that. I mean, yeah, if you want to give it a shot. Um, alternately, the weapon that we would use to do this is worth 20 gold. Points or pieces if we sell it. Then it won't be worth much after that. No, it won't. Hey, you know what? This is our new safety deposit box. Alright, so all right, all right, all right. we know where it is, and the goblins will keep it safe. And when we need it back, Sunishi will just make withdrawal in blood, and you, we'll get it. So you think that maybe this helmet leaving it here will lure goblins to it? It's possible. Oh, let's leave it here and then come back later. We'll do that as soon as we need to buy horses. So we're good to go on the, the next room. Let's go to this uh, hallway that we didn't go just to verify that it's going where I think it's going. You want to go back out down the stairs and around to the hallway you want before? No, we want to go through the one we haven't come out of yet. Yeah, just like that. Oh, but yeah. Just like that. Just a little lower. And just keep on going. Oh, oh, right there. And go on through and just verify. Yep, there it is. Okay. <laughs> yep, that was where you were at before. Cool. Who swims really good? Not the one covered in feathers. I think I'm well, I mean, stones there are lots of birds that have feathers that swim excellent. Didn't know. Right, so while you guys are debating that, we'll take like five minutes. Is that athletics? Later. Uh, that would be athletics. All right, yes. I swim real damn good. <laughs> All right, and then, uh, yeah, we'll take, like, five okay. and we come back. Okay. Yeah. All right, so... Tell you back. And... Can we do a full recap of what we've done to this point? <laughs> no, no, let's not. We really We're going to spend the next hour recapping what you did for the past hour. Right. Back to the main room, please. Back into the what, I'm sorry? The main room, please. Mm -hmm. The main room where we killed Nivalia? Or... No, that main room. Okay. This main room. Do we want to open the sarcophagi? Yeah. They're all just feeling jumpy, punchy, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Sunishi's good at opening things. I will step back. <laughs> Sunishi is only oh, interested wish... in this if there's a potential for goblins in the sarcophagi that we can That's... then kill. That is, that is why I asked for Grilled to open. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, which, which which one are you gonna open? Um, so on the door to the left. Do you see where we're pointing? Can you can see where uh, we're can... pointing? <laughs> you could actually probably do use the pingy tool to. Ping. That's the one. That one. Yep. I do that. All right. You so can, as you walk you up to, to it, you are up. able. You slide your hands along it, and you're able to find fairly easily. Oh, thank God. Where the edge is, and you it slides open with uh, with a a scraping sound. As a sarcophagi hits, like scrapes across the floor, but it still opens fairly easily. 
And as you open it, you, like, a skeleton that is just nothing but bones actually falls out <laughs> and hits you. I'm sorry, Sean. It falls at me. <laughs> oh, we're done. We're done for the night. Thank you, for, thank you for playing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You just got me envisioning a meaty skeleton. And I just can't. I just can't. <laughs> Please continue. He means it has no clothes on it, right? It fall. It, it falls out of the sarcophagi at you. Okay. And it hits you, and the bones begin to turn to dust. And you die. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was going to say... They, they, fall, they collapse on the floor, and as they hit the floor, they basically turn to dust. Do I notice anything inside of these sarcophagus? <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Oh. Oh. Eh. That's not something to kill. No, outside of the skeleton, the sarcophagi was empty. All right. I'm done with the sarcophagi roulette. Anyone else want to try one? Icky will try one. Which one would Icky like to open? Icky will go to the one that is across the room from the one that Grelta just opened. All right. And again, fairly easily, Icky's talents are able to find hold and open it. But seeing what just happened, Icky is able to take a step to the side, and the skeleton falls out, and hits the floor, and just smashes, and just little <coughs> bits of dust and bone go everywhere. I'll well, try this... the one to the south. Okay. The Hungarian one. The. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I was going, but. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, which one? The which one, one to the south? Open ours? Like, all the way to the south? Yeah, the yeah. Hungarian one. That's not the Hungarian one. The well-endowed sarcophagi. There you go. There, There is no well-endowed sarcophagi. This, this is at the bottom of the endowment. Okay. Guys, let's let's just move on. We Herzog. know which one we're talking about. Yeah, south. Yes. South. As, as you open it, same thing. Uh, skeleton falls out, hits the ground, and... The bones turned to dust. Nothing. No jewelry. No. No. No jewelry. There's. You're not. Able, I mean, you. You're not sure how long these skeletons have been in there. Okay. So, looking at the statue, we already checked that out, right? And there didn't appear to be anything. Like it was very ornate, but there wasn't really any. I don't know. Not that you were able to notice. No. Okay. Is anyone going to open another one? Just yes or no? I hadn't planned on it. Okay, because if you were, I was going to go bathe, because I have, like, grossness on me now. <laughs> you got bone dust. I get bone dust bone. in places bone dust should not be. Ugh. Seems like you should have gotten the bone dust from the south one. Go bathe. I'm going to go bathe now, because I feel extra dirty. So while they're going to bathe in the sea water, water. Yeah, that's better than no water. Probably better than bone dust. Yep. Can we stop saying bone, please? <laughs> oh. No. no. Of course, <laughs> dust sounds better. Grelda leaves and uh, goes back to the sea chamber. Alone? Yes. We have split the party. We have split the party. All right. You're just going to go back to, to the sea chamber. Should we just go outside yep. just of a, the just room? Just a quick, you know, rinse. In case something Not happens. Like, yeah. All right, you're able to uh, really dump yourself in the seawater, and you come back it? up, and no, so you are stay outside of the room, but okay. maybe in the hallway. I mean, okay. she's trying to get the leaving uh, wet footprints behind you. Do I squeak when I walk? No, surprisingly, your boots don't. Mm, interesting. Mm. Well crafted boots. Mm, nice. Or magic. Yes, yeah, so you do. You do have that wet sound as it hits, though, as the water sprays nice. off of your feet and your legs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do. I do. Since no one's around me, I do a, a quick little jig just to like hear the squeaking sound and. Then I go back to the party. Like you do. Like you do. Like you do. I appear to have broken Bill. No, I'm good. Let's carry on. So, so we don't want to like Sally open Forrest, all Sally the Hall. sarcophagi yeah, well, I'm and, and, anyone else? and investigate inside them. Well, go ahead, Icky. All right. I, I pull open the mid-eastern uh, sarcophagi. The one directly you to the... At, you have the same thing happen. Oh, cool. So I dot. So I take a look inside the sarcophagus. There's nothing nothing janky in there. 
it's empty other than the skeleton that wasn't there before. Moving on. Moving so, on. sarcophagus, bone dust, we're good. Moving on. Girl, the squelch is back to the group. Squeak, 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 squeak. What is that? What sound coming from your pants? <laughs> oh. There weren't any fish in there, were there? <laughs> no! <laughs> Good night, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> well, we got an hour of half decent play, and we'll just call it. Seriously? No, come on. It's no, only, I'm kidding. I got no. like he's, he's nine hours before I need to actually start driving to work. He's kidding. Let's go. <laughs> I am just we, we are going to get to the proverbial chopper. All right, right let's. We're going north. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and north we go. <clears throat> How far north would you like to go? Through the door. Through the north. North. north there. East. All the way north. Do a nor'easter. Like where, like where you guys want to end up? Like how far back are you gonna track? Back uh, to where we already are, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't. I don't. We're because already you, there. Yeah, we're already there. So now, did we miss any passages? No, um, not down there. Previously, maybe, but yeah, I think I don't remember. Let's head back towards the surface. Through the traps. Slowly, trap. so we can see through the traps, which mm -hmm. we disabled. Well, yes, but I think we had to make a check to not fall on our faces as mm -hmm. we crossed it. Uh, no. I don't think so. Hmm. No, you intentionally jumped. No, you made a check because you tried to jump over it. Oh, okay, that's fair. Without touching it. Tried to. Okay, right, so it. back to the, the previous level up the stairs. <laughs> yeah, because I think we're done in here. I don't remember any things we missed. I mean, do we, do we want to go in? <clears throat> yeah, no, I guess in here we're pretty done. I think so. We played with the traps. We found, uh, we've got a safe deposit box. Did anyone write that down, by the way? Because I didn't. The lo I, I wrote down that we found it, but we didn't take it with us, so. Okay, cool. But what about all the stuff around? I wrote down all of that, yeah, but we, we haven't split it. it up yet. No, okay. it's collectively we all have it, we just haven't shared it. Even yet, we can do that. That sounds like a good thing to do in a place where we can get beverages of an alcoholic nature. Uh, I was gonna do it somewhere with a so, calculator. So, Grilda's backpack, probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Next door, please go through it and head toward the stairs. Up the stairs or just towards the stairs? Up the st oh my gosh, Sean. Up the stairs. <laughs> well, I'm asking you where you want to go, and you're like, go past the door. You, you did say towards. We're, we're doing go, go oh, to the oh, place. Oh. 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 No, it, no, it, oh, god damn it, I have to move things too. <laughs> Stop, it was going. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. Ah, ah, oh jeez. Oh, 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 this is scary. Oh. What the hell is going on here, guys? Just to go no, we're back stairs. in this room again. Oh, there, we're over I just here. wanted to go up the stairs. Oh, God. It's yeah. never going to happen. I don't know. I went up the stairs and everybody started freaking out. The map. Well, the map <laughs> we went back to the Sandpoint. Map went crazy. Yeah, as soon as you went to there. Okay. That's right, because there were um, stuff. There was a lot of stuff in here we didn't do. Yeah, because this, this was where we were told to not go, like, sleeping in random open places. Indeed. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Indeed, Anna Jones. It says down. Okay, there's yeah, nothing there's in this. Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones. Um, let's go back towards where Icky is. Is that another door just two squares north of him? Yes, that's the door that Auric left. That goes up and out. Yes. Which we haven't out. gone. Correct. Um, true. There was a harpy... Uh, nailed to the wall in another room. I don't know if you would want the feathers. The character kind of had a thing for the feathers. That was at the top yeah. of the other staircase that you guys came down. Correct. So if we leave via this door, I assume we will not go past the said harpy. You'll go somewhere This is not a character I'm asking to help me remember. Did we make any promises to go back upstairs, tell these guys we cleared it out, 
Do we make any promises to sneak uh, and you kill stuff? Pro you spoke with... Science.no. Where is it? You Wars. spoke with Gogmort, and the deal you made with him was to come downstairs, kill Nualia, and then leave without hurting any goblins. Did she she did that deal? No, she did not. I don't remember the hurt no hard hard goblins bit. That I didn't write down the hurt no goblins bit. You did. Samishi so is not that. beholden to that bargain in the least. Yeah, we have. That's that. what. That's the deal that was made. If the goblins attempt to hurt us, though, I think, you know, all bets are off. What if they even look at us funny? They can't help What us. if they even look at us? What if they even exist? Right? What if we go check out the other room and we didn't finish looking all the doors at? Did we? I don't think we did. Uh, we I, think did. The, I think the we west, did. or the east door, I think the east yeah, door. Yeah, no, we, we, we went, we went south and... Yeah, we did those two doors. We never did the side doors. I agree. Yeah. I think we should check that out. Let's check it out. And then We're already there hallway. anyway. Yes, we, we are. We want you. We want you. What you say? Oh. We would like to go to that main room down, the southern main room, and go... Oh, okay. Uh, we have east or west. There's the door next to Tarnan's picture, yeah? Yes. Wanna, let's do that one first. You want to open up that one? Sure I will. That didn't sound ominous at all. No, not at all. I don't do ominous. No. You want to open up that door? Stop, stop. You're freaking me out. <laughs> Leads to another hallway about 15 feet before there runs to another wooden door at the end of it. Is it a secret? Hmm. Secret, secret. Okay. Oh, oh, there we go. Forward to the other door. Okay. Check it. Is it locked? It does not appear to be. Cool. Open it. Do I die? You appear to. Damn. No. Reroll. That's not how oh. you undo your burden, sir. <laughs> we now meet a mysterious character named Carnid. <laughs> no. You guys started a character that I might just have to... Oh, jeez. All right. What's um, going the on? The southern the wall of this room is a bank of cells with iron doors, six in all. Uh, the rest of the room is obviously a torture chamber. A rack sits against the far wall. An iron maiden stands to the north, and a fire pit smolders below a spiky cage dangling from a chain in the ceiling to the east. It's pleasant. Is there anyone in here? I... It is empty. Okay, I look. I do not call out. Hello, is there anyone in here? <laughs> there does not appear to be anyone. Nobody there. responds. All right, casually walk past the... Uh... Super cash. Cells. Just looking in. Does anything jump out at me? Ah! <laughs> earlier, Thanks. <laughs> um, no. Actually, all the cells, you see nobody and no bodies in any of them. No bodies. There are two other doors. Does someone want to? Most definitely. Pick one. I'm looking at the uh, cells. Nothing in here. 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 No thing. Relda opens the freaking door. Thank you. Which one? Um, that one. The, the one on the north. The, ball. the northwest or northeast? Good. This God, one man. or this one? Door number two, please. Door number two. All right. Two man, that was coming. Door. Suspense. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Prizes. Uh, I think it looks like a pit of despair. No glittering prizes. Pit of despair. What? What? I closed the door. It's just the pit of despair. <laughs> there we go. Wait, wait, time out. Really? I don't know if it's the pit of despair. It appears to be a pit of despair. And after all the other stuff we played with, you're in kind of the pit away. of despair. <clears throat> <clears throat> Should stop saying that it's causing problems. <laughs> oh, do you want to? Do you want to check out? Yeah, I'm gonna go check it out. Would you like to come with? Yeah, let's do I that. Or could appreciate I got, some I got nothing else going on today. Fantastic. What? You, oh, we don't want to split the party. I'll oh, come along. Okay, I appreciate it. Yeah. Just in case things need punching, like her clawing. Is that like oh. an alien thing? What is yeah, it on the left? What do we see? Well, in the I will tell you. 
Um, stone fonts containing frothy dark water sit in the north and south mm-hmm. of that the eastern sense. entrance to the room, and twin banks of stone pillars run the length of the long chamber. At the western end, shallow stairs rise to a platform about two feet off the ground. The walls surrounding this platform are lit by hanging braziers that emit glowing red smoke, giving the place an unnerving crimson lighting that throws the bas-relief carvings of countless monsters feasting on humans in a lurid display. A black marble altar, stone, its surface heaped with ashes and bone fragments, squats before a ten-foot-tall statue. The sculpture depicts a very pregnant but otherwise shapely naked woman who wields a kirkry in each taloned hand and has a long reptilian tail, bird-like taloned feet, and a snarling head of a three-eyed jackal with a forked tongue. That's probably Nuwalia's mom. Oh, yeah. I can can see the relation. Hey, uh, Kyson. Why don't you go over that statue and check it out? (laughs) So be Just just to to be clear, when we're looking at this map, this darker area is not filled with evil water, right? No. Okay. That is not filled with any water. You, I thought you mentioned something with water, but... Yeah, I, I believe it's those two... Those two there. Yeah, there are uh, stone <laughs> fonts at the far east. All right. They're kind of like, like sands. These have water in them, but... Got to murder them now, then. Okay, thank you. Uh, all right, well, I'll Just go over... Just don't bleed in them. Go for the love of I'll go over to the altar and the statue and investigate them. Oh, well, that means touch them. You sure you want to do that? Percent what are you trying them? to determine? Uh, so we can figure out what to have you check for. Just if there's anything interesting <laughs> about them. Like magical or trappable? Like, are you or... saying, do you recognize them? Are you looking for what they're made of? Are you looking for traps? Actually, maybe maybe I, I'll do a histor- history check on the statue to see if it looks familiar. Actually, for this one, give me a religion check. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> There's like zero chance my character. Anybody want to help me do? I do not. <laughs> um, I could. One. Yeah, I've got a plus two. Two. Surprisingly good. Oh, I don't my. think I'll need. Oh. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. God, you and your rolls. Um, <laughs> as you uh, look at the statue and you're putting together all the monstrous forms that seem to be combined with it. You can tell very easily that this temple and this statue belong to Lamashtu, who is the mother of monsters. Mm-hmm. And that is the one that Nualia was praying to. Yeah, Does the statue that's... appear to be Lamashtu? Like, is that the figure of Lamashtu? Yes. Hmm. That is what Lamashtu looks like. Is she always pregnant? Yes, because she is the mother of monsters. Hi, Mom. She is always de- you. You know that she is always depicted as being. She's pregnant. just perpetually pregnant. Yeah. That would suck. No wonder she's bitchy. <laughs> Brother, what do you know about being pregnant? <laughs> I've I've met many pregnant women. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Are you been plenty of booze. Uh, I don't know. That's that's part of the, the grumpiness. You're not allowed to drink the booze. Oh. I don't think they knew that. I don't think in this think world they, they would know. Dwarven women are allowed to drink as much as they want while they're Well, pregnant. yeah, their constitution is encouraged. Really? Yeah. <laughs> encouraged. They said cursed. Oh, no. Sounds like a good Cursed, really. <sighs> so, I'd like to check out the altar more. Uh, more thorough investigation. Hands on. Touchy, touchy. What's this do? Buttons. Touchy, touchy. Touchy, feely. All right, give me an investigation check. What does this button do? I'll help. Thank you for helping. <laughs> wow. You're beyond help. Stop helping. Wow. Oh, that was two ones in a row. Yeah, um, yep. From the dice that has been treating him well. Just in general. Fine. I will use the new dice that Tammy got me just, just to see. Ah! Is it one? Is it a 20? It's an 18. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, even with your one... You you oh, you, you, you look at the altar and you can see smears of ash and bits of bone. And you can tell that this was burned 
within the last few days. Okay. Check out that ash. Hmm. That ash, yo. <laughs> Let's pick up the gas on that all day. <sighs> to the north and south of the altar, I'm sorry, what were those again? Just uh, those were... Brazers bubbling with uh, it was, uh, crimson stuff. Uh, pla- uh, brazers that are emitting uh, glowing red smoke. Cool. Nobody has any skulls to rub in the ass. Right? <gasps> I do! <laughs> I hand you my closet head. <laughs> what, 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 what's, what's going on there? You figure something out? Uh, you they're crossing the streams, <laughs> crossing the campaigns. We, we've heard tell. Part tell of a group of a people. legend, a legendary adventurers that you could take the skull of some recently deceased person or thing, rub it in ash, and it might get magical powers. Rub it in ash and hope something happens. Thank you so much. You gotta keep going. Over every and ash over that you find. And over yeah. and over again. Sh- should we rub the closet in the ash and find out? You might as well. It's not doing so hot. It's starting to decompose. Yeah. It's pretty gross, we, actually. We, we rub the closet in the ash. Does anything happen? Do we notice it, any magic? It becomes it. Considering it is starting to decompose, it picks up the ash pretty readily, <laughs> and now you have an ash-covered, <laughs> decomposing closet head. <laughs> Which is the second step? <laughs> you know, the fourth fire step there. is profit. You just got to figure out what the third we one is. You could burn it. You didn't take the decomposing closet head into that pool with you, did you? Oh, I definitely did. <laughs> yes, you definitely did. That's one of the reasons it's picking up the ash so easily, because it's wet. <laughs> oh my goodness. What else? Yeah, could we, 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 could, we could play with the uh, the water fountains <laughs> at the eastern end. Let's not play with the water. Anybody want to bleed into one of them? Not really. It's got a closet that we could dunk in it. Yeah, we could try. Is there blood in it? At this point, probably, probably not. not. Uh, if only we killed some... I know, right? She yells, echoing off the walls. How how sturdy does the uh, statue of Lamashtu appear to be? Pretty hefty. Okay. If he had said it seemed fairly weak, what were you going to do with that information? <laughs> Pull it down and destroy it. Oh, okay. <laughs> destroy away. Let the... Let the shoot maidens <laughs> I'm pretty strong. I'm sure that between the two of them, I don't know which one would win first. I mean, Sanishi or Grelda, who would actually rip a limb off a statue first? That could be an interesting challenge. I mean, I'd say Sanishi, but her roles. So, hey, Sanishi, I'm bored. Are you bored? I'm bored. I'm so bored. Do you want to destroy the statue just for Oh, fun? my God, can we? Yes. Can we? Let's do it. <laughs> All right. First person to get a limb off wins. All right. What am I rolling? G- give me strength checks. Jason, I got a goal that says, uh, grab the wings. I, I you already went to the What did you say? Did you say strength or acrobatics or, or athletics? Strength. Strength. So just straight strength roll. Um, I would probably pick Grelda too, actually. Okay. So strength is not in this list, which yeah, should mean it's icky, on. Icky <laughs> it's with like Dex so plus five. Constitution. Yeah, okay. So Sanishi got an eighteen. Oh, Grelda got a seventeen. Oh. Ooh. So you both walk up, one grabbing each arm that are holding the the sh- the kukri kukri kukri. Yeah, weapon. Kukri. Uh, cuck. Weapons. <laughs> And you both just pull, and you're like pulling your legs off the ground. Actually, Grelda has to jump. <laughs> that, that's why it, I rolled so low. The statue's ten feet tall, so the, the arms are about seven and a half, eight feet off the ground. So she jumps, grabs a hold of it, places her feet on the pulls, hips. Yep, tries to wedge her foot into the wall, and it's a. I mean, it's solid statue. It's not moving at all with those rolls. All right, then I'm gonna look down and see how it's attached to the floor, because that's bullshit. <laughs> Sanishi's gonna keep pulling. <laughs> Sanishi smash. There looks to be a uh, a round Dead. stone base that's connected to the bottom of the statue that seems to be on the ground. Okay. 
Does uh, Sasha have a blunt end on the back? We are not using Sasha for this. I have that 20 gold halberd if nobody cares about the money there. What are you re-rolling for? Can we... and giggles. Oh, can we keep going? Because I didn't think we could keep going. You can absolutely keep going. Um, <laughs> okay, so you do that for a few minutes. If you want to try for another five minutes, you can give me another strength check. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 23. Is uh, Sanishi continuing to try as well? Oh, oh Sanishi ain't, can't stop, won't stop. Um, same role as before. 17? Yeah. And, uh, and I, and I cast Mage oh, Hand. Oh, both of you wedge your feet? I, I cast Mage Hand and pull on Grelda's arm with her. <laughs> Adding another 5 pounds of pressure. It's 10, 10 pounds. It's 10 pounds. Oh, it can, well, it can lift 10 pounds. That's how I got uh, there. So... Sanishi <laughs> and Grelda both, you dig your feet into the walls and you pull and push, you pull with your arms and push against your feet. And the statue, both of you, it rocks a little and then it falls forward, crashing onto the, uh, the marble table in front of it. Yes. Splaying both of you on the ground. Did it and, lose a limb? Uh, what did was it, that? Did it lose a limb? No. Damn it. And five Nualias show up. A high five. It was extremely loud. It is reverberating off of the wall. <laughs> At this point, uh, believing that we have killed the bad guy, Tarnan is like, bring it. What else can come down here? Lamash, too. Just let's, let's all cut ourselves into the fonts. <laughs> <laughs> let's not. Let's no. not go quite that far. No. Maybe. So, are the, the weapons on the statue, are they real weapons or statue weapons? Statue weapons. Are they broken now? No. They just Nothing broke. on the statue is broken. It's is just the no table longer damaged? Upright. What was that? The, the marble table is now, the marble offering plate is now destroyed, yeah? It's a solid marble table. It's a little scratched, but it, the statue is kind of resting on it. Would you say the value of it has decreased <laughs> substantially? Please don't answer. I that. wouldn't say substantially. <laughs> All right. I are mean, there are there are scrapes, but I'm sure they could be uh, could be buffed out. Damn it. Grelda feels slightly better, but would like to leave now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we should go check out the other doors. The doors to the east. Yeah. Well, there, there was another door in the oh, room they're to on the one. south. Yeah, because we can see where those are going. You pinged a second door. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Down here? Yeah, that one. That one. Yeah, that one. Creep up on it. <laughs> we, do we politely open the door? Come on, you guys. Forgot to be asking. Ooh, a room. A, a dusty nest of rags, dog hides, and straw sits in the northeast corner of this room. To the south, a long workbench cluttered with pliers, hooks, tongs, saw, and knives is what you see running along the wall. There's also a, uh... oh no, just those. Are They're the, on the wall to the south. Are the pliers of high quality? Quality? Yeah. No. How nice are these torture chambers? Yeah, right? They are, they are, they are intact. That's, that's the best you can say is they're, never mind, never mind. You asked if they're high quality. They're not yeah. like sparkling silver tongs. No, but they're, they're, I, I wouldn't want silver. What was that? I don't. I don't want silver. I would like some solid metal, highly functional, high quality. I could grab his whiskers from here and yank them out one at a time if so desired. They are metal, and oh, they are functional. functional. They are definitely not. In Tarnan's esteemed opinion, are they worth more than a half a copper? Maybe. <laughs> That's a no. Tarnan, I don't believe Tarnan has uh, sold too many uh, torture implements. Oh, how little you know! What are you? What you rolling for over there, buddy? You picked up that die with a great deal of fervor. Uh, all right, never mind. Okay, carry on. Does S Sanishi smells the air? <laughs> Does she smell anything gobliny? Give me a perception check. It's that way. No. What's the starting number? 14, no. 14. 
Um, Under the fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> so Sanishi sniffs the air. She takes a step into the room, sniffs again, and then she continues to. And she puts her head right down into the dog hides and oh. straw. Uh-huh. And she takes this huge breath and she mm-hmm. picks up the dog hide and like uh-huh. collapses it around her face uh-huh. and then drops it. Okay. And she can absolutely smell goblin <laughs> on the dog hide. I smell goblin on these guys. You should definitely <laughs> stab them. I don't see how that will help finding the goblins that left the scent. We should do you find think another it would door. Hurt? Let's do that. Which one? Closest one? Okay. Do you want me to leave? Yes. No, all right, let's go to the next door. <laughs> so I will go out of that room to the south three squares, and then start heading to the east a lot. Back to where we are. Okay. And a little more yet. Right past, go like four more to the east. And I check it if it's locked. It does not appear to be. I open it and do one of those after you, madame, to Sanishi. <laughs> ah! You open it, you see a small, a short ten foot hallway, <laughs> and there's another door. And as soon as you open that door and Sanishi takes the first step through, you hear a bunch, a large number of footsteps coming from the, not only the stairway downward, but the hallway to the north beside you. Uh-oh. And within minutes, there is, you see three goblins coming down the stairs, two goblins coming from the hallway, and then you can hear there are more behind them. So, Sunisha, so I'm going to need everybody to roll initiative, because well, you guys made so much noise. We're supposed to be making noise. We're supposed to be killing the things for them. Yeah, because uh-huh. Sanishi's initial reaction is, <laughs> oh, gods. Oh, gods. So. Wait, I get... What, why would you get to do it again? Uh, Sanishi is an uh, initiative oh. of eight. Oh. 18 for right, hold on. 17. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Where did Griffin go? Alright, so Oryx's gone. Yep. Yeah, he's gone. Icky's with us, though. Yeah, I'm moving. Zoop, yeah, yeah. Point Icky. Icky. No, I did that wrong. What? Icky, Icky, zoop, point, no, didn't. Icky, 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 why cannot you can just accept Icky Icky Patang Zupoing is my name? Can we shorten it to something? Icky! Can you not just call me Icky? It seems so derogatory. Oh. Kind of nice. Alright. <laughs> kind of nice. So, uh, are you ready for some initiative numbers? I will be. So the answer is no. Oh, nah, yeah. Lex, are you ready for some initiative numbers? No. Lex is ready for this nonsense to be over. He's ready for his wet food. Oh, yeah. You can't stop the cat from eating. You can. No. No, you can't. He's no. just being patient until people leave and then he'll be... <laughs> I've heard that meow. <laughs> yeah, he's oh, like, oh, yeah. oh, is that the food meow? Yeah, that's, that's the start. You started it. All right. It's time. It's time. You started it. Technically. Oh, hey, what does Sanisha get? Eight. Tarna? Twenty. Icky? Twenty. Gorelda? Eight. Oh, I was wrong. Okay, Ison? Eighteen. Hmm. I was wrong as twenty-one, oh. but whatever. It doesn't really. Yeah, it twenty-one does because I got twenty. Is that how that works? 
that's how they usually break the ties if the DM wants to be specific about who goes first. Otherwise, you can just say you guys decide who goes first. Or he says, okay. Oh, yeah. uh, if you both get the same, if uh, two player characters get the same initiative, you just act at the same time. Oh, okay. We can do that or we can just block the 21. But whatever. No, you can, you would, it'd be like, it'd be both of your turns and you can pick whatever order you want to do things. Okay. Let me grab one thing really quick. Then, Tarden, you are up first. It is the almost the ten of the clocks. Are we? It is. So, do you wanna do you wanna start this for a little bit, or do you wanna save this for next time? I I vote next time. I am okay. game to start it if everybody else is, but my work schedule has recently changed, so my first meeting of the day is at eight a.m. Okay. Oh, we can pick this up next time.